Yo, what's up? Today I'll be showing you how you can take an original song to inspire your very own take of the track so that you can release it without calling it a remix. So let's, let's dive right into Ableton and get started. Welcome back to the channel guys. I just wanted to say thank you so much for your support so far and I hope these videos have been helpful for you, especially the downloads. So let me know in the comments below if, if you know if there's something you want to see in particular and I can make my lessons around that. So before I get started, I'm going to play back what I have, just like always. Let's get it. Alright, let's get started. So what first inspired this idea was I was listening to this song called Lafayette by Cassian, which is my first channel right here, and I really really like this brass part. I'm going to play the breakdown and you're going to hear what inspired the rest of my song. So this is the original song. So that was a snippet that I really liked. Um, I heard the brass sounds and I knew that I wanted to use that as a reference to make my own version of the song that I heard. So the best way to extrapolate ideas from a song is that you go to the part of the song in which has the least amount of instruments occurring at the same time as possible. So if you take a look at this song, there's an arp going on in the background, there's a percussive layer like a shaker and then there's also the brass stabs. So clearly it was not the best part to use as a reference, but as I went through the song, I realized that there's a break towards the end in which only has the brass sounds. So if I go to this part of the song, so it was perfect to use this part to pull the parts. So after I identified which part I wanted to use, what I first did was I chopped up each sound into its own audio file. So by browsing in your view mode, go to a selected part, push command E, and you're able to separate your audio into different parts. This helps you stay organized and if you want to label things differently, like for example, this first note is a G. G, G. So what I would do is I'll go command R, rename, G. Cool, and then we'll move on to the next note. So that one's hitting a, a D. So we'll go G, D, and so forth until I call out every single note. So that way it's easier to work around it. So after calling out the notes, I'll go back to the portion of the song that I wanted to work on. So I brought back everything over here. You can see I got a G, D, F, G, D, and so forth. So this is my clean layer, and then this is my original layer. That way, if you ever have to go back to get some original inspiration, everything is available at your fingertips. So what I did here is I took all the notes from this pattern and I rewrote it in MIDI. So I just pulled the grand piano from Ableton just so I can replay it. This is what it sounds like. Cool, now you're a producer, you're fucking killing it. Yeah. After finding the original melody, what I did was I took the pattern and I switched it up a little bit, adding a D sharp instead of a D. So now I changed the key from what was C major, A minor into a G minor, B flat major. Cool. So changing keys forces you to spice things up a little bit. If you write your own version of the song in the same key, you tend to gravitate towards the original sound. So by doing this, you force yourself to use different notes, therefore using different patterns, and therefore you're making a original yeah! and not a remix. So let's give it a listen. Yeah! 
So that was the first iteration. Still kind of sounds like the original, so I wasn't really feeling it that much. After the first iteration that I made, I, I decided to give it a little more syncopation and with some time and messing around with the notes, uh, this is the new pattern that I got. So already I was a lot happier since it sounds nothing like the original at this point. So now we're clear to move forward. So after establishing this new pattern, I decided to do a little bit of sound design. I brought this into Serum. We did some init goodness. We have two saw waves and a good old filter. And this is what we have now. So I actually had the sidechain enabled, but that's why it has a little bit of bounce. But I, I still wasn't that happy with it. it it's it's kind of boring, you know. It's not it's not bringing me anywhere. So in uh, this kind of music, what I like to do is add this staircase pattern. I go from the bass note, which is a G. Then I go up an octave to a higher G. Then I go back to the next note, which is an F. Climb back up to the F and then go back to the D sharp, go back up to the D sharp. So I call this a staircase pattern because we're going down the staircase and then after that first four count, we're gonna go back up the staircase. So you can see D sharp. And it makes a nice little groove to your body. So when you hear it, you kinda wanna bob your body to it. And I really, really like this pattern. So I'm gonna play it back real quick. that is a thousand times better than what we had before so this is how you iterate on what you got um, that's that patch that I just showed you guys it's gonna be a freebie download so make sure you subscribe to my channel leave me a comment and even if you don't leave me a comment you'll still get the file anyway so just give me a subscription and I'll toss that file your way so thank you guys so much for watching and we're gonna keep on moving forward here one of the best things about having a song as a reference already in your file is that you can break it up into different sections. So if you can see right here, I called the first part soft intro, which usually is the intro without drums. Well, this one has drums, but you know what I mean? Like the bass isn't enabled. We're still just building the song up. And then when the kicks start coming in, that's like another section. And then next we have the breakdown drop and so forth so a lot of people get stuck in a loop and this is the way you get out of the loop situation you take your main section that you just worked on um, it says break here but obviously it's the drop so what you want to do is you want to fill it up with as much things as possible so even though your first iteration might be very bare add hi-hats add percussion add a melody Add everything you can think of in this idea section. I call it the idea section because this is what you're gonna take and then you're gonna break it apart to fuel your whole track basically. So with all the ideas here, which I'll play back in a second, you're gonna be able to build at least half of the song. You might not have your effects ready, you might not have any transitions, but you're gonna have the, the framework done. And having the framework done is pretty important to keep your workflow moving and for you to complete your songs so you can put it out on SoundCloud, Spotify, Apple Music, all the good shit. And now it's an original and not a remix. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I hope there was something useful you learned from it. Let me know in the comment section below what you learned and what you want to see next time. Until then, later guys. Move your feet like